everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another DIY for you and today we're going to be making three terrariums for your succulents or your cacti. I know many of us don't have much space but it doesn't mean you can't have greenery in your home or any outdoor space you've got. It really doesn't matter what size and that's why I've gone for some smaller items today. I wanted to show you what you can achieve in a tiny, tiny little space. And I think they look really, really nice as well. If you're watching this here in the UK, everything you need to make these I've picked up in Poundland. But depending on where you're watching in the world, I'm sure you can find very similar items in a budget store near you, or you may already have them in your home already, which would be even better. We're going to be making this hanging light bulb terrarium. This is perfect for a single cacti or succulent. And I really like the fact that it's still got the solar light working in it, so it's gonna light up in the evening. I've actually got it hanging up there behind me, I don't know if you can see that. We're also going to be making this lantern terrarium. This is a great one if you want to put a few cacti and succulents together and of course you could use any lantern that you want to providing it's got glass panels. And we're going to be making this wall canister. This is a great one to hang on the wall either indoors or outdoors and again it can hold a few cacti and succulents as well. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it's inspired you or you enjoyed it. And also, if you make any of these, I would absolutely love it if you tagged me in your pictures. I always like to have a look at how you've got on, so all of my social media links are below. The first thing I'm going to do is carefully remove all of the glass from the lantern. And I'm going to use a spoon to gently bend back all the metal that's holding it in place. Be really careful because you don't want this glass to break. I'm also going to remove the rope and just tape that off because we're gonna spray all of this. A little tip if you are taping things off is to just fold over the last bit like that and then you've got a nice piece to easily peel it off with afterwards. Next, I'm going to take the light bulb out of its packaging ready to paint. So we're going to unscrew the metal part because that's the bit that I want to add some colour to. And I'm just going to tuck all of the lights in out the way. And I'm going to carefully stick a piece of tape over the solar window. So that's all ready to paint as well. You could of course skip this step if you don't have any paint or you're happy with the colours that these already are. But I'm going to take all of these outside to give them a coat of bright copper paint. So next we're going to make a hole in the light bulb and I just need something that's circular so I'm going to use this candle to draw around. Just place it in the middle like that, line it up um, to where you think is a good spot. You need it to be a little bit higher up this way towards the top so that your soil is not going to fall out. And we're going to draw around it using a thin permanent pen. So now we have the circle, we just need to cut this out. So I'm going to very carefully puncture a hole in that using the scissors. Just go careful when you do this because you don't want it to crack either. You could drill through it, but the plastic's quite thin, so you should be good to go like that. And then the best way to cut this out is to just start going around in a circle. If you go straight to the edges, it could crack there. So we're just going to go around in a circular motion and keep getting wider. The paint's all dry, so now I'm going to carefully put the glass panels back in. Now what I've realised is that when I fill this up with soil, there's actually a gap under the door here. So what I'm going to do is just glue in a piece of clear plastic along the base here to stop any soil falling out. So there you can see in there now I've just glued in this piece of clear plastic. That's just going to stop any soil from falling out through the door because I hadn't thought that bit through. So first we're going to go in with some gravel to help with drainage. Then I'm going to carefully spoon in some succulent and cactus compost. In goes a cactus. 
and let's add the rest of its soil. And finally, I'm just gonna add some moss towards the back for a bit of decoration. Now I'm just going to carefully remove the sellotape from the ropes where I sprayed the ends of that and we can reattach that now. And there you have it, hopefully you can see this okay, it's tricky with the reflections. A really nice miniature piece that you could hang anywhere you like. It would work outdoors or indoors. So now this is dried, we just need to stick on the clear piece of plastic just over half the way up like this. So leaving a space that's just smaller than half at the top. So I'm going to go all the way around with some hot glue. Have to work quite quickly. So that's stuck it on and now we just need to cut all the way around it. Just trim off any excess. And I'm just gonna take some garden twine to hang it with, so I'm just measuring around the circle. I'm just gonna knot that off. And then with the knot at the bottom, we're just going to hot glue that into place. There we go. So now I'm going to add some pebbles and some gravel. And then we can go in with some succulent and cacti compost. And then we can plant anything that will fit in there. Ouch. <laughs> so this one, yeah, I think that's a bit big. This one might look really, really good. And you can add some moss if there's any gaps as well, which will look really nice. Let's see if we can fit this guy in as well. You can kind of poke things around with the back of the spoon if, um, if like me, you're struggling a bit. And if you can, I want you to bring your moss up to the line here, because that's gonna disguise where the plastic finishes which I think will just make it look a little bit nicer. And there we have it, that's all ready to hang up. So just need to remove the sellotape from the solar panel. And then into here we can add some of the gravel for drainage. And then I'm going to add some soil. I'm going to pour this in from the top and just carefully hold the hole. I'm going to use the end of the spoon just to dig a little hole there try and poke it into it, which is kind of tricky. <laughs> and we can add some more soil in from the front. And let's just add some moss around the back just to keep it in place. Which is easier said than done. <laughs> you can go in again with a spoon and try and poke it about a bit. Okay, so there we have it. So now we just need to screw the uh, light fitting back on. I don't want these wires to dangle down too much, so I'm gonna keep them just in a little loop like that to stay at the top. And you can attach another piece of garden twine on there if you want to, to help hang it up. So there we go, I'm really pleased with how each of these has turned out. If you make any of them, I would love to see how you've got on, so don't forget to tag me in your pictures. All of my social media links are below. And if you're new here, please hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.